Okay, so today we're going to look at an example about exponential graphs. So that's a graph that we should recognize. Quick sketch of what these look like just to remind ourselves. Oh, obviously they look pretty much the same. And it will rapidly rise. It will rise exponentially, in fact. So we're going to look at here, we've got a question where it's given us a graph of y equals ab to the power x. And it tells me two coordinates that that graph passes through. Uh, I've got 0, 4.2 and 3, 0 0.0336. And it's asking me to work out the value of a and b. So we're going to use the coordinates that were being given to work out each of these values. So we're going to start by substituting the first set of coordinates in. So we use this set of coordinates first. And if I substitute them into the given equation, that will leave me with 4.2 is equal to a multiplied by b to the power zero. Okay, now we should know that b to the power zero, just like anything else to the power zero, is one. So then for 4.2 is equal to a. I have my first value. I could now, if I want to, could rewrite that equation as y equals 4.2 b to the power x. We're now going to use our second set of coordinates, but I'm going to substitute into this equation now. So 0 0.0336 is equal to 4.2 multiplied by b to the power 3. Now I want to work out the value of b. So the first thing I'm going to do here is divide. So 0 0.0336 divided by 4.2 is going to give me the value of b cubed. And then to find the value of b, I'm going to find the cube root of And I'm going to pop that straight into my calculator and it'll do all the work for me and I'll get out the answer of 0 0.2. So I can write down, I can I write my equation is y equals 4.2 multiplied by 0 0.2 to the power x or stating the two values that I've been asked to state, a is equal to 4.2 and b is equal to 0 0.2. And we're done.